Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and I'd like to welcome you to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. I'm here on the bay at Niantic, Connecticut. It's a beautiful summer day, but pretty soon September will be here. And the month starts with a new moon in Virgo on the 5th. Then in the middle of the month, Pluto goes direct. And towards the end of the month, there is a square between Venus and Mars, which can be quite challenging in relationship issues. Now here's what all this means for your sign. The new moon in Virgo is September 5th. Gemini, the new moon on September 5th, falls in your fourth house of home, family, and emotional foundations. Now if something needs to be fixed, remodeled, or cleaned out, now is the time to make a step-by-step -step plan of action and follow it. <laughs> You'll enjoy working with other family members to get things done. And be willing to volunteer if somebody needs your help. You might find a great sense of satisfaction by getting things done. Just remember, keep one eye focused on your career responsibilities. Pluto goes direct on September 20th. Gemini, Pluto goes direct in your eighth house of sensuality and rebirth. Now, a deep, slow revolution is happening in that area of your life. Now, this is a time of power or destruction and perhaps a little bit of each. You must deepen yourself and know what is most important to you. You are a mental being, but now you must become thoughtful. Seek the deeper meaning and then you will understand how your experiences between yourself and other people have changed your life. Join your power with the power of others clarify your goals together, and you will become a force to be reckoned with. Before going on to the battle between the lovers at the end of the month, consider ordering a transit chart at ProfessorAstrology.com. It can prepare you for the coming year. Venus in Leo squares Mars in Scorpio from September 28th through 30th, and these are both fixed signs. Gemini, Venus in your sixth house of health and work, squares Mars in your third house of communications and learning and travel. Now, Venus in the sixth house will inspire a sense of creativity in your work. If your work is mundane and maybe even boring, you may try to enhance it and make your conditions better by being a little bit more social uh, in the work area. However, the square to Mars in your third house warns you to be careful not to make too many demands on other people or to ask for too many favors. Other people may see you as being too pushy or excessive in your demands. You may be wiser to focus on being efficient at work and to work on your sense of well-being and take some time to watch your diet and build up your energy. You'll feel a lot better. These predictions were based on your sun sign. Now, if you'd like more accurate information for the coming 12 months, you can go to my website, professorastrology.com, and go to the personal services page. There you can order a transit chart that'll be based on your time, date, and place of birth, and will tell you exactly what's coming in your life for the next 12 months. Now, I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Uh, if you like these videos, hit the like button. If you would like to subscribe, subscribe because they're free and you can share them with your friends. So again, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful fall season.